welcome back. So I realized that once I hit 58, new MOG options that I had already unlocked became available. So behold. Kind of a mix of a couple different sets from uh, Wrath for the Death Knight. As well as, as of course, the Marogar Axe. I, I tried Armageddon. The problem was that like half the sword was in the ground. <laughs> so I thought that looks kind of ridiculous. So I thought... Let's just go with Merogar's axe because I did a that took a lot longer to drop for me than I actually wanted it to. So, anyways, by the way, do you, by the way, do you notice the name of the mayor? Mayor Quimby. Ah, uh, yes, Mo Quimby. Yes, it's a Simpsons reference. Apparently, there was another quest down here that I didn't pick up from Rivendare. My bad. I didn't realize he all of a sudden decided to give me a new quest after I accepted the other one. Most humans would have fled the moment that a scourge necropolis took up residence in their airspace. Not the Scar of the Crusade. I must confess, I rather enjoy our exchanges with the Crusade. Through the years, the Scourge battles against them have resulted in several of the most tragic events in human history. Yet here we stand, again, locked in battle. We shan't deny them the pleasures of eternal servitude to the Lich King. Enter New Avalon and fulfill their death wish. Leave no survivors. What the? Wow! I guess someone led one of those in here. Good thing the Crypt Guardians just immediately were like, Get him! Okay. Make sure that's tracking. Look at all the ghouls that we have here now. The idea is that all- look at all these ghouls! Look at how many there are! Remember, the idea is that many of these are the people that we... ...slaughtered in this town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I believe here is where one of those items are for Noth. Yeah, there are the chains right there. There we go. I like how the ghouls are just running around. They're not necessarily focusing on him. They're just kind of like... Just bleh. They're just running around, doing whatever. Cauldron is in here. Uh. Notice how many of them are just not even fighting the back. That's a great thing you should have just spread my life. Oh. They're just They're just citizens. We're also collecting the skulls, by the way. You know that?
filthy coward, just get it over with. There's the cauldron. Of course, remember, we're not done. By the way, sorry if you guys can hear the sounds of uh, my keyboard. My mic is literally right over my keyboard, so if you can hear all that and that's annoying you, I apologize, but it's part of my setup, so... <laughs> Somebody save me! Like, they're not even fighting back. Now these, now the see the actual members of the Scarlet Crusade, the Zealots. I have no shame in taking them down because these people deserve it. But these civilians, mm, not no, they they don't deserve it. Of course, remember. A number of the uh, members of the Scourge kind of approach the idea of killing people in the same way that, like, uh, the Dark Brotherhood do in Elder Scrolls. They do it because they like it. They enjoy it. But of course, remember, we're also doing this on orders from the Lich King himself. Oh, he's up. Uh, I was like, where's my ghoul? Oh, he's upstairs killing more people. Or to be like, ghoul, get over here. Coming, master. Alright, one more Scarlet member. Alright, there's the town hall. I'm sure there were some, like, big Simpsons fans that they just were keeling over. No more lies, Quimby! We want answers! If you don't come out, we'll tear this place apart! I assure you this much, Quimby won't be getting my vote next term. We're done for! Save us, Quimby! Lot of people not happy with Quimby. Oh, what's that? Scarlet Crusaders here working for Quimby? Well, in that case... There he is. Get over here, Mayor. I actually get some defenses going here. Stone skin. I need to target something first. Kind of just realized we're 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 basically not only just killing them, we're also somehow taking their skulls. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't even want to try to think about how we're doing that. Ah, uh, looks like uh, Mayor Quimby will not be uh, running for office again next turn. <laughs> that was my Mayor Quimby impression. Thank you. <laughs> 
I don't really watch that uh, The Simpsons that much. It, I never really caught on to it. Like, it was never really a show that I, like, really got into. I've seen some, and I'm like, okay, some of it's pretty funny. And then some of it, I was just like, eh, hmm. All right, let's go see Noth first. What the? Did he actually snipe me from up that wall? So this is actually a daily that you can do here. Yes, in the starter zone, there is a daily here. Have you gathered the materials that I requested? Perfect. Now give me a moment to get things set up. My task is done. My task is done. There's the cauldron. The cauldron is ready to begin spewing its foul corruption across the land. Now, Death Knight, a brief lesson in plague cauldrons. The gas that the cauldron emits is deadly to the living, but empowers Scourge. As with all Scourge creations, it feeds off of death and grows stronger the longer it feeds. Take these Crusader skulls and drop them in the cauldron. You will be quite happy with the results. Place the pile of skulls inside the cauldron. The plague cauldron jumps to life when the skulls are placed inside. After a few seconds, some vials of dark liquid float to the top. Noth's special brew restores health and 50 runic power. Those are potions, so of course you can use them in combat. The Plague Cauldron bubbles and churns. So, as you can see, you can just keep collecting and just keep turning in to get more if you want. And you can just start to try and stack up on these. Just keep them for however long they're going to last you. So, Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of those. I have many, many wares. Actually, let's hold on just for a bit, just in case I actually get more as we're doing more of the quests. So I think once we turn these in, uh, we may see another phase. I'm not entirely sure about that. Whoops. You are quite effective with that blade, Murunix. Perhaps, the Lich, Lich King permitting, you would be interested in becoming one of my minions. Stratholm is looking for a new mayor. You want me... You're asking me to be the mayor of Stratholm? It's still on fire. <laughs> no, thank you. Got better boots. Same item level, but apparently Pawn is like, Oh, no, no, no they are better. I will listen for now. The registry will tell us many things about these scarlet insects. Mm-hmm. Death rates, births, but most importantly, movement. Look here. They have already sent three vessels abroad. Let me see here. Where are they headed? What? This... this is impossible. They sail to Northrend. Beside the coordinates are the words Crimson Dawn. In my travels across this world, I have made several interesting discoveries. For instance, did you know that with the proper amount of encouragement, one can extract all the truths that a man dares to hide? As luck would have it, I happen to have some encouragement on hand. There are many persuaders. These are my persuaders. Equip them and take to the field, Death Knight. Apply the pointy ends to the soldiers of New Avalon. Discover the truth about this Crimson Dawn. Fox, and then use them to persuade the Scarlet Crusade. And There's take. work to be done. So it's a two-handed sword. Very nice. I like that it actually changes based on what uh at least i think it does because if i recall 
this actually is a one-handed sword if I'm playing as Frost. Maybe I'm wrong, but what I like is the idea that it can be either one-handed or two-handed based on what spec you're playing. So this quest can take a little longer than you may want it to because you just have to keep going from enemy to enemy until RNG decides to have one of them actually spill the beans. And it's just kind of any of them, really. In fact, let me, uh... I'm actually going to have to... Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch to blood. Ah! No! No, passive, passive. Do you think this is to be pain? To be suffering? Ha! I can keep this up for a very long time, Scarlet Dog. Tell me about this Crimson Dawn. Suffering? Destroy this mortal shell so that I may ascend to the heavens. Alright, I am going to switch to blood. Just so I can make sure I stay a little longer. Plus, I obviously don't want the ghouls to kill these guys, you know, faster than than I need them to. Okay. I'll just do basic attacks. I've survived three separate inquisitions. This is nothing in comparison. If I have to, I can try and use some healing abilities to keep myself alive. Crimson Dawn, what is it? Speak! You'll have to kill me, monster! I will tell you nothing! Is your life worth so little? Just tell me what I need to know, and I'll end your suffering quickly. You'll be hanging in the gallows shortly, scourge fiend! Let's go ahead and get my brew there. Let's find a, uh, ah, no, that's a marksman. What I want to find is, uh, ah, there, a Scarlet Preacher. What's that? Spell power is increased by 30 for 18 minutes. Interesting. I'll tear the secrets from your soul. Tell me about the Crimson Dawn. I used to work for Grand Inquisitor Isilian. Your idea of pain is a normal mid-afternoon for me. What is it? Speak! Do you think this would be pain to be suffering? You see what I mean? You just have to keep doing this over and over until eventually one of them decides, Okay, I'll tell you. And you have to keep auto-attacking. So you're having to just kind of go through one after the other, just doing basic attacks with it, because that's how you get them to spill the beans. If you actually want to progress here. What is the Crimson Dawn? Your idea... Yeah, they say the same things. Because you can tell how brainwashed and indoctrinated with the Crimson... Uh, with the Scarlet Crusade they are. That one tickled. <sighs> you fool. You fool. You fool of a took. Don't want to waste these. Tell me what I want to know. You've 
burned by last good tabard. That's a shame. Our tabards last pretty much forever. Ah. Uh, don't you just love these kinds of RNG quests? You see why I also hesitate about getting rid of those skulls? Because as we're doing this quest, we're getting even more! Get over here! Look out! There's a bee loose and it's on a stinging rampage! You think I'm a bee? Apparently they all used to work for Grand Inquisitor Asilian. Well. The pain is almost as unbearable as the lashings I received in grammar school when I was but a child! Ugh. What is the Crimson Dawn? You hit like a girl. Honestly, is that the best you can do? I'll tell you nothing, Scourge, filth. You'll get nothing and like it. All right, I'm gonna get some health back. I gotta. Don't know if I want to pull a commander. They could be a little too much. Grow tired of these games. Tell me about the Crimson Dawn. The pain is momentary. It pales in comparison to what the High General would do to me. Now another player is doing this. Great. Let's get this creature over here. I don't know. Maybe I should get... Uh, nah. Let's try this one. Face out my basic attacks here. The Crimson what? Never heard of it. What is the Crimson Dawn? I'm going to send you back to the Lich King in pieces. Come on, what is it? Uh, come on!
My goodness. Oh my goodness. This is the only quest in this starter zone that I do not like because of how long it can take. It can take forever for one of them to actually be like, okay, I'll fine, I'll tell you. And then when you see other players, then you're like, oh no, they're going to take more opportunities away from me. Actually, I'm going to build up some bone shield charges. Ah. Because at least this will keep me alive a little longer than usual. He's like, that one tickled. I'll tell you everything. Stop, please. Ah, oh, it's about time. We have only been told that the Crimson Dawn is awakening. You, you see, the light speaks to the High General. It is the light. The light that guides us. This movement was set in motion before you came. We do as we're told. You must believe me. Lies. The pain you're about to endure will be talked about for years to come. No, please! There was one more thing that I forgot to mention! A courier comes soon, from Hearthland. It... Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> Yum! Shop! Browse! Smell? forget to check the pole arms are available now. Ooh. Yeah, you can see I've been I've tried to collect a lot of different uh, mods from the uh, Wrath um, timeline or Wrath expansion. A lot of different mods. Actually, now I can just go back to Unholy if I want. By the way, in case you're... By the way, that... Uh, I want to address what that uh, Scarlet Marksman said. He said that... Um, <laughs> this is something kind of important. He said, the light speaks to the High General. Spoilers, that's not actually the light. That is a Nathrazim. A Dreadlord. That is Balnazar from Warcraft 3 and then who we deal with in Legion. When I say we, I'm referring to the Paladins and the Priests. Balnazar is actually one of those Nathrazim that shows up and is actually relevant because, of course, he pretty much helped create the Scarlet Crusade. <sighs> yes. An awakening? What nonsense do you speak, boy? What kind of fool would deliver their people into the very heart of the frozen wastes? Perhaps, though, this courier holds the answer. I have sent Orbaz, uh, Thassarian, 
and Coltira behind enemy lines to search for the courier. They have set up a base of operations at the Scarlet Tavern, located at the southern end of New Avalon. The tavern is tucked away behind the two orchards, adjacent to the chapel of the Crimson Flame. You are to make your way to the tavern and report to Orbaz Bloodbane. He will update you on their situation. Ashes to ashes. Whoops. We are done here. Alright, 59 now. Still no dungeons to choose from. But that makes sense. Obviously, you can't really do that when you're still in the starter zone. There we go. What? What? Never mind. Whatever. So now we have to make our way all the way down over there to the tavern area. By the way, you notice many of the ghouls that were here? Yeah, they're not really here anymore. Of course, we still have to deal with plenty of different Scarlet members just still roaming the area. Here's the orchard. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't know you were doing that quest with the uh, persuaders. My bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. I was just trying to help a fellow player. Uh, yeah. Hey, Thessarian. Um, yeah, it looks like you guys have been a little busy in here, haven't you? What? Looks like we'll just let anyone into the Dark Order these days. When I was given the gift, things were different. Much different. As to this courier, we haven't got a clue about when or where this courier is supposed to show up. None of these humans had an answer either. I did manage to beat something useful out of the last one. Inside Scarlet Hold, they keep a schedule of all the patrol routes. I want you to break into the hold and steal the schedule. The hold is the largest building in New Avalon, northeast of here. Leave me be. What? Breaking through the Scarlet Lines was no easy task. We suffered many casualties during the assault and lost one of our best death knights, called Tira Deathweaver. I don't know whether he's dead or alive, but I'll be damned if we don't search for him. I last saw him being bound in irons and dragged away to the Scarlet Hold, northeast of here. Tear that keep asunder, death knight. Find called Tira. We are done here. Why do you care, Thessar Thessarian? His weakness led to his capture. Only the strong should survive, not to mention... What, Orbaz? That he's a blood elf? In life, we were hated enemies. That This is true. But in death, we are the children of the damned. The orphanage sons and daughters of the scourge. In death, we are brothers. To hell with you, Thassarian. This is something that's interesting about uh, the Death Knights in general, but also specifically about the Saurian. I like the Saurian, as I mentioned earlier, and that's partly because uh, we get to interact with him quite a bit more, not only in uh, Wrath and Northrend, but also in Legion. As a Death Knight, when we get to the, the campaign, the Saurian is one of the um, Death Knights who's like at our side assisting us throughout the campaign, helping us out. He's there a lot of the times when we are there to try and recruit like the new uh, four horsemen. And like when we raise them and they're like, oh, I live again. What what happened? And he'll be there to kind of answer the questions and like like along with us. And he'll be like, it's like, we have raised you to help us against the Burning Legion. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> again, it's something that you kind of have to... <clears throat> 
<clears throat> that if we were looking at the campaign, we would go into a bit more. But here, right off the bat, it's establishing something that I like about the Saryan, but something that I wish was more common with the Death Knights. What the Saryan says is true. Like, in a sense, this is a brotherhood now. But he's one of the few that actually thinks that and embraces that. Many of the other Death Knights, they don't care. They're just kind of out for themselves. And what's funny about that is that when you play as a Demon Hunter in Legion, the Illidari are more, like, brothers in arms, so to speak, than the Death Knights are, which is kind of funny when you think about it. Let me get this guy in here so that hopefully these NPCs will actually help. There you go. Get him, NPC Death Knights. There you go. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, oh, gosh. Throat's starting to bother me a bit. But get used to the whole, hey, let's go save Colt here at Deathweaver. That's not going to be the last time we have to do that. Where we're going to be like, let's get in, let's try to save Coltier Deathweaver. I like how they're like, hey! What? Where are my ghouls? Rise, minions! Defend me! You know what I find interesting? Is that right now there's like a, like a couple of different... Um, I'm not seeing any uh, horde death knights at the moment. It's only I'm only seeing alliance death knights being made. I see a worgen, I see a gnome, I see humans, dwarf, I've seen, I saw a draenei earlier. I guess it's true what they say, that that there's actually more alliance uh, players and characters than there are horde, even though horde is more popular. But then again, lore-wise, it actually makes more sense to use an alliance race for a death knight than it does a horde race. At least in my opinion. It, ex with a couple of exceptions, like the blood elves. Playing a blood elf death knight just makes so much sense. And it just adds to the story and the tragedy of it. Especially when you get to an upcoming quest that I really am looking forward to showing you guys. Because it's one that just grips at you. Especially depending on which uh, character or race that you're playing. It's one of the only times that what race you're playing act actually matters in this starter zone. This is like the only time it doesn't really matter. By the light be cleansed! He's got, he's got a full judgment set. Very nice. But you are... You're not a, a, a paladin of the Silver Hand or a paladin of the Scarlet Crusade. Because remember, you can be a paladin and be completely evil. That's right, you can wield the power of the light and be completely evil. After all, we saw Mograine wielding corrupted Ashbringer. Because, yes, that is a thing. It's just funny when you see some of the other, uh, mem you know, <laughs> when you see characters like certain paladin characters in this setting that are just, like, evil. And then you'll see, like, like some people think that, oh, like, human paladins are clearly, like, the only good guys in the setting. And it's like, um, no. <laughs> that is not true at all. I always forget that the basement entrance is right over here. I always forget that. My Inquisitor Valkyrie. Hey, Coltira. You need only ask. You were foolish in coming after me. I failed. I should have been left for dead. Now two of us might be killed. We are Death Knights of the Scourge. This... No! Uh, I 
I really hope he respawns. Because obviously I have to turn in... I have to actually turn it into him here before we can leave. He better respawn. This is one of the only things times where I'm just like, oh, I wish there weren't any other players right now. Like, certain times, I just wish I could, you know, make it where it, I was the only one doing this right now. For moments like that, where I'm trying to show this or turn it in, and then he wanders off because another player already got here first. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Because you see, the mark on the mini-app is still showing. I'm supposed to turn it in right here, but he's gone now, and I have to wait for him to actually respawn. Uh, better take a moment to drink something. My throat's starting to go out on me. Oh my gosh. The Scarlet Crusader uh, enemy NPC is respawning faster than Coltira is. There he is. Oh my goodness. I shall serve. We are death knights of the scourge. This f flies in the face of the Dark Brotherhood's covenants. Basarian, you blasted fool. The alarms have been sounded. The High Inquisitor and his acolytes will be here soon. I'm too badly injured to be of much use. I'll do what little I can to help. Slay the High Inquisitor and his cronies. Tear off his head and return with it to the turn with it to the Sarian. Vengeance will soothe his savage soul. One more thing. If you do manage to survive and make it back to the Sarian, tell him that they're executing prisoners at the chapel. Perhaps he'll send you there to play the hero once more. We do what the living cannot. Damn the crusade, I think my ribs are broken. I might be bleeding. I'll need to get my rune blade armor and just need a little bit more time. I shall defend you. Whew, getting some lag. All my concentration, kill them all. What is your desire? Where is that coward? Come on. He comes. Be ready, Death Knight. We're gonna draw you out of the of the bounds of anti-magic field. Don't worry, my my ghouls have this. The death of the High Inquisitor of New Avalon will not go unnoticed. You need to get out of here at once. Go before more of them show up. I'll be fine on my own. I'll draw their fire. You make sure that you're you're escape behind. Nothing more than a pile of meekers here is a nun. Beyond the grasp of the scourge. You make your escape behind me. Oh, Tia, you brave fool. the orchard 
Oh, there are a few things here I also need to read for you. Something to, <laughs> to really add a bit more extra context to the uh, Scarlet Crusade. But let's wait till we get inside before I do that. Okay. Turning the other cheek. The topic of indulgences is a difficult one, but at times in our lives it becomes a necessary evil, a lapse of judgment, a harsh word too quickly spoken, a punch or kick thrown in anger. All these things are failings of mortal men, and the church must acknowledge that. However, such acknowledgement does not come without a price. For sins of harsh words, a mere handful of, si of silver will cleanse the soul. For sins of physical force, a handful of gold will expurge in the failings of mortal flesh. For those other sins, a full confession and a more generous contribution will be necessary. Punching. Punch the face, two gold. Punch the, to the groin, three gold. Punch in the chest, one gold and forty-five silver. A detailed list of prices and sins continues for pages and pages. Give to the church and the light will provide. From the desk of High Abbot Landgren. It may seem that in dark times of strife and turmoil, that one must turn inward, protecting family and loved ones to the exclusion of all else. But these feelings are false. Without the beacon of hope that is the church, despair will quickly in inundate the very pores of your family soul. All the full stomachs, warm toes, and happy smiles that worldly goods may purchase will not save your family from the creeping inner emptiness that shirking your fiduci fiduciary responsibilities to the light will induce. Give to the church. The hardships endured through lack of worldly goods act as a forge for the soul, burning out impurities and raising you up to a higher plane of being. Be not ashamed at the rumbling of an empty stomach, the bite of a sharp rock upon your bare foot, or the chill of the, in of the winter wind. These are but means by which the light communicates its inspiration to the soul. These sacrifices ensure that the arching gold-appointed uh, peons to the light, which so inspire you at worship, are well maintained. Eschew the comforts of the flesh, and come ever closer to the light. Priestly preening. Be like your betters. Number one. Cultivate the, f the fulsome beard, for it conceals the imperfections of the face from the light. Number two, purify your hands in the milk of the mare, that they may be soft and supple when handling the offertory. Number three, bathe in the rivers, allowing the glorious natural gifts of the light to cleanse your skin. Number four, replace regularly your holy raiment, that your appearance and odors not offend the servants of the light. Number five, maintain at all times an upright posture. Let not fatigue nor sloth curl the spine. The list continues for several more pages of minutia. There are some other ones I'm aware of that I'm hoping to get. What of Coltira? I'll feed this monster's head to the ghouls. Toss it into the back room. Did Coltira make it out? I'm certain he did. Those walls can't hold him. It's time for some payback. The cry for vengeance must be heard. Commander Plaguefist and a company of Death Knights are on their way to raise the chapel of the Crimson Flame. If there are any Death Knights imprisoned at the chapel, Plaguefist will get them out. You can still catch up to them if you hurry. The chapel is due west of here. We will ravage this land. You need something? Mm hmm These worthless Cretans have been busy. Northern patrol routes, southern patrol routes, western patrol routes, eastern patrol routes, but nothing about their courier's routes. Wait a minute. What's this? It looks like a western patrol route coming out of the western plague lands. This patrol will path through here today. I'm going to need time to plan. We will ravage this land. Huh. Interesting that that's the that uh, item is actually better than what we already have. All 
All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, cut it off here, and we will be heading to the chapel to continue the starter zone when we return. Stay tuned.